Welcome back everybody, it's your boy T, and it's been a minute since you've seen my face, yeah don't mind me, I'm all scruffy man, it's long, long hours man, just, just been busy, but yeah, so uh, yeah, uh, do my quick walk around in my truck, got a load real quick, I picked up in uh, Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia, it's a, it's a car lift, it's going to a dealership so they can, you know, I lift cars up and do maintenance on them and all that. So I'm picking up here in Atlanta, and it's going to uh, to Florida. It's a quick uh, it's a quick run, man. Pick up today, deliver tomorrow morning. So what, like 400 miles from from here where I'm at, from where it's going. Clear. Show you a minute, doing a quick walk around of my of my trailer, and I'll show you the load. It's a strap and go. Got my kid with me and everything, so. Going to uh, went to a car dealership, Hyundai. Show you that clip tomorrow, or you'll see that clip later on. And uh, yeah, I said uh, going from Atlanta to Florida. Let me show you real quick what this uh, load is. Hopefully, it's not too windy, but uh, yeah, so it's a uh, car lift. Going to a to Hyundai dealership. Like I said, I picked up in a in Atlanta, Georgia. Going to Florida. 400 mile run. It's a quick uh turn and burn. Rate uh rate was like four four fifteen. I did headed 100 mile. No big deal. I got it uh part of the part of the of the rate. So, comes out to, yeah. Anyways, guys, like I said, I really don't give rates. You know, if you can put the math together, then you figure it out. But I really don't give out rates because everybody's different. You know, some some can nego can nego some can negotiate. Man, can't talk. Some can negotiate and get better better rates than others. Cause you know, I might get four dollars a month for this one, and somebody might get dollar thirty. And this is a dedicated too, so. That's why I'm like, why are you going empty like that? A lot of deck space. Like, no, because it's dedicated, and it weighs like two thousand pounds, but it's dedicated. I could have found another partial, but eh, ain't to worry about it. It pays good to go down there, and I'll find something coming back. If not, then it's no big deal, cause I already calculated all the expenses and deadhead and all that into my rate, so. Even if I come back to the house empty, I'm still making over two dollars a mile. So these numbers sound weird and all that, but it depends how you break it down and how you look at it and your expenses. But uh, again, we're back at it again. We're back here in Tennessee, Georgia, Alabama area again, Florida. Gonna work here for a little bit, and then going back out to the oil fields again. It's a car lift going to a. Hyundai dealership, strap and go, dedicated, about 2,000 pounds, the truck didn't even move it or sag at all, but uh, but yeah, Hot Shot's not dead, everybody's making fun of me because uh, that's all I say is Hot Shot's not dead or I say that a lot in my videos, but it, hey, it is what it is, man, you know, and uh, but yeah, alright guys, let me uh, let me get on the road, start driving towards Florida, and I'll show y'all if I can tomorrow the drop off because uh, they're building this new dealership, so there's a lot of construction going on. So if I get a chance to show the video of you know, and it's nothing fancy, just it's a pallet, well, I guess or whatever, nothing fancy. So, but yeah. Alright, guys. Uh, let me get to it, and I'll show y'all once I get to Florida. If I can, if not, then again, it's a uh, quick run so one day like a few hour run from Atlanta Georgia down to Florida and uh I'll say it. my shot's not dead <laughs> all right guys let me uh let me get to it and if it's windy I apologize because uh it's very windy but hopefully it's not all right bros let me uh let me leave now all right everybody we back at it again just got back from Florida. I didn't have footage of that uh, of that load being unloaded because 
it went to a car dealership and it was tight and busy man i just i wanted to get it unloaded and just take off and it was uh, it was easy but it was just chaos because you know florida yeah it's kind of semi and flatbed hot shot friendly and and it's not but it yeah anyways so now if you saw my short video yesterday you saw that i had a pallet that i put in the back of my truck and that one was going to el paso and it pays very well and here we are we're at copart and we're picking up this uh bumper pull uh travel trailer and it's going to laredo so like i say man you know if you come out here and you and you hustle man you'll find work you know but you don't always have to use your flatbed but you know it is what it is again you know it comes down to you and how you hustle because there's work out there man it comes down to you but uh yeah real quick let me show you this travel trailer it's pretty sweet man it's a uh, pretty sweet small but uh it's nice man but let me turn around and show you the this uh power only bumper pull trailer real quick all right so we're here at the car here in tennessee and uh we're grabbing this power only bumper pull trailer but yeah i mean it's copart's huge but yeah so here's a travel trailer that we got as part of the two two loads that i got going to to west texas I'm telling y'all power only man works out there you don't know always gotta use your your flatbed or even a footy footer at that but yeah so get this uh I guess it's a 20 foot bumper pull uh, travel trailer and if I'm correct this one this one came out of a out of a hurricane so but I looked inside of it everything looks very very fine man and nothing I don't know water damage or whatever but I don't see anything but I'm telling y'all we out here doing it man and it might see me doing a lot of power only because like I can find work power only and I it's, it does me well. It does me well so I don't have no issues doing power only. Let me lock this real quick. Yeah. yeah that's pretty cool. Natural film. Huh, cool. But yeah, this is man, I can buy one of these for myself. But yeah, a little power only bumper pull. So there's some other ones out here, but they're they're in bad shape. This one's like one of the better ones, really. Damaged from I guess from a hurricane. I don't know, but it's legit. It's not bad. I'm telling y'all, we out here doing it. Hot shots in the dead. Yeah, I said it. There we go. Some my quote. But yeah, this is a. Uh, This one's beat up. Look at that. Ooh, this is bad. Ha, like I guess like it rolled over or something. Cause it's off the, it's off the platform frame. Oh yeah, yeah, that one's bad. <laughs> yeah, this is the, the life of a hot shot. That's what we do. Bumper pull, flatbed. Let me show y'all real quick this. Where's the little pallet? There it is. I'm telling y'all, you gotta know your vehicle, man. You gotta know how to maximize to to, to your max potential. Pallet weighs 600 pounds, and I think the max payload on this truck's like 9,000 pounds. So it's it's nothing. All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna end this video and. Uh, I'll see y'all whenever I go drop these off if I can, but I'm telling y'all. Let's all say it with me. Hot shot is not dead. It's how you hustle, man. It's how you hustle. Alright guys. I'm done. I'll catch you later.